So my last video was all about time and priorities. I'm just gonna continue on that line of thought because I'm still dealing with this damn problem of what the hell am I doing with my time and what are my freaking priorities, man. So last Sunday, a bit of a schwaist of time, and by a bit of a schwaist, I mean a huge, gigantic, monumental heap in waste of time. I had to serve for church, which is fine, but it delayed my normal routine by a gigantic leap of time. And by the time I was done doing chores and like meal prepping and all that stuff, I was utterly exhausted. Didn't want to do anything else. I'm struggling with time, struggling with priorities. Because I don't know how I want to prioritize my time because there's too many things that I want to do and there's too many things that I need to be doing. It will just have to come down to me biting the bullet and just erasing some stuff and, you know, f figuring out what I feel like is more important than anything else. I think the number one thing I really need to do is just dedicate some time to sit down and think, aka journal about what it is I want to prioritize, how, how I want to prioritize things. Journaling, that would be great. I would love to use this YouTube channel as a journaling process, but I also don't want to do that thing where I'm constantly blurbing out all my goals to anyone who's going to hear it because then I'm less likely to go out and actually pursue those goals. I think a, a, a huge part of this problem, or the reason I believe that having a plan is a good solution is because I believe that if you don't have a plan, so I, I have this analogy that goes like time, money, and calories operate pretty much the same way. If you don't know where these things are going, they're going into the ether. They're being sucked into a portal of nothingness, into an empty vacuum. It's going nowhere. So what happens when I have free time and that I don't have planned out? It most likely results in me scrolling endlessly on YouTube Shorts, which is an absolute waste of time. It's mindless. I would rather play video games, honestly. Like, playing video games compared to scrolling endlessly on either TikTok or YouTube Shorts or Instagram Reels is like monumentally more productive even though you're still not doing anything. You're still at least engaging your brain some way it, when you're playing video games, when you're just scrolling mindlessly. It's useless. It's unacceptable is what it is. It's actually infuriating. And the sucky part of it is that it's addictive. Substance abuse. I'm abusing YouTube shorts. Hi, my name's Christian Mullen. I, I have, I'm addicted to YouTube shorts. It's a real issue. What do I propose I do about this little situation I find myself in? Man, I think the solution is just I need to shut the hell up and just do it. I'm overthinking this probably. Analysis paralysis. I just need to shut the hell up and do it. So uh, here's me beginning a new journey. Part of this whole process, I believe, is constant re-evaluation. We have a tendency to set goals. We have a tendency to set um, a plan. And this is like in every aspect of life, right? So this can go for training as well. So weightlifting. If you, if you do the same thing over and over and over again for a very long period of time, for three months or more, at least for me, what I have experienced is that I get into a bit of a rut. I get bored. I get too comfortable with what I'm doing. So I need to actively take the time, actively plan out a period of reprioritization, re-evaluation, which I sort of have been doing with this channel a little bit, but apparently it's not enough. I need a more thorough system to reevaluate my priorities and goals. What I really need is a concrete time management system that works for me. Something that I would actually adhere to. Maybe the crucial element I'm missing is accountability. 
Which is wild to think about, because I have a community of people who would be more than willing to hold me accountable to my word. And I have a YouTube channel of people who would be willing to hold me accountable to my word. My mind is bouncing all over the place between a million different ideas all the time. Which is the difficult part, because I know for a fact, Jordan Peterson talks a lot about this as well, I know for a fact that when you sit down to do something, your mind will generate 40 billion other ideas of what you could be doing at that moment, just to make sure that what you're doing now is really the thing that you need to be doing. So I, need, I think I need to take that into account when sitting down to do something is, all right, you need to take five to 10 minutes to just let your mind think about all the other things that it could be doing instead of this thing that you're doing right now. Oh dear goodness gracious, I'm just ranting today. And I'm ranting because I didn't have a plan for this video. We're going off the cuff today, ladies and gentlemen. We're just flying off the seat of our pants. And that's not how I want to do things. I actually want to do something with this channel. And I have a very limited amount of time that I can actually prioritize, that I can dedicate to this YouTube channel because there's like a million, kajillion, billion other things that I need to be doing. But I guess at the end of the day, these are all good problems to be having. Oh, dear goodness gracious, I have too many things I could be doing. Hashtag first world problems, I guess. It's a blessing and a curse. The blessing and the curse of free will. You get to do whatever you want with your time. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool if you ask me. Free will and time. Maybe that's the theme of the video. The blessing and the curse of free will. That is what we're talking about today. Boom. That's all I had to do. All I had to do was think about it a little bit. All I had to do... All I had to do was think about it a little bit. I had to just go on a little bit of a rant. 